I thought that I had to be, to be a good Quaker, I had to be A, B, C, D. And if I couldn't do those things, then maybe I wasn't a good Quaker. Where my journey through the years and through reading the early journals, it's all taught me that it's not up to me at all. My, my primary um, goal is to be open to being led by a power greater than myself. Hi, I'm Chris Stern, and I live just outside of Media, Pennsylvania. And I attend, I'm a member of Middletown Friends Meeting here in Lima, PA. Well, I was, I was brought up in a Quaker um, situation. My dad was a Quaker. My mom um, went to meeting with him. Meeting was a big challenge for me as a child. I liked some of the messages I heard when I was able to sit still and listen, but sitting still was, was really hard for me. Meanwhile, I was struggling with uh, seeing a lot of really fine examples in the Quaker meeting of people that seemed to be living very um, peace-centered, uh, loving lives. And I found this uh, nice in lots of ways and comforting in lots of ways, but also a huge challenge because many of the things that were held up in meeting as, as the way to, to live were not easy things at all. And oftentimes it was, you know, you'd, you'd be told about the testimonies, that is, the, the, the things that Quakers believe are the way to live your life. But very little was said about how to find the strength or power from within or without to live that way. So I found myself constantly falling short. And um, at, at some point I remember saying to myself, well, I can't be a good Quaker, so I really shouldn't go to Quaker meeting anymore. The journey uh, as I left Quakers led me mostly into Eastern religions. I did a lot of study, mostly through reading, but for me, they just didn't seem to make that much of a difference in who I was as a person. I still remained the same kind of confused and um, not knowing how to respond to difficult situations. Eventually, through some people that took an interest in me, um, I began to be willing to look at Christianity. In particular, a man, a Quaker, reappeared who um, had had a conversion experience and was now reading uh, early Quaker writings, and particularly the journal of George Fox. And my parents, who saw me struggling with this, recommended that I talk to this person. And uh, Bill, this man who um, helped me with this, was an immediate help. and. Um, asked me if I wanted to come and read the Journal of George Fox with him regularly. So we uh, went through the whole journal, the whole writings of George Fox together and talked about them. And I began to see that George Fox was a young man who was in a similar condition that I was in, confused, hurt, unsure how to um, respond to the world around him. and went to all of these people for advice and help and found none of it was helpful and then had this powerful inward experience of hearing a voice saying there is one even Christ Jesus that can speak to thy condition. And when he heard this, his heart leapt for joy. And I, so I realized there was something there that he had found and I wanted to find it too. Religion can so easily become something that we, we wear, we put on from the outside. Um, but the power within the Quaker message and of these early journals was that there's an experience that can come to us inwardly when we come to the end of our own resources and ask for help that Christ can speak to us in the present day, in the present moment, and bring to us um, a message that is transformative and um, become a guide for us in our lives. Thanks for watching this Quaker Speak video. We release a new video every other Thursday. You can watch all our videos in this playlist here.
You can subscribe to our channel by clicking this button here. You can support us through our Patreon here. Thanks again for watching and have a happy Thursday.